Yeah, this week we also want to present you some interesting stocks from the US market. First of all, we want to lay, uh, take a look here at Freeport um, with the symbol if, uh, FCX, where we placed an order middle of um, April on the option, what you can see on the left hand side of the screen. And here the main idea was a breakout above the $40 um, price level. And that's exactly what we saw this week. And um, now, even yesterday, there was um, still a massive um, call vo vo volume, especially I think for um, traders who are waiting for a real outbreak. And that's exactly what we can see here. So these are some of the um, ideas what we shared in uh, one of our last video so if you don't want to miss any of the videos please feel free to subscribe here to our channel or to leave us um, any comment we would be happy um, to give you some answers or to take some of the ideas for our next videos another symbol what was quite interesting from friday from yesterday was here energy transfer lp um, main reason here was um, the earnings what we had um, before this trading day and you can see there was a massive um, increase of um, call volume especially of call volume just um, here what you can see for example is um, 1 million call options only yesterday average is uh, normally 50,000 so that's really a big increase of course there might be a lot of options after the earnings and after this uh, massive move from yesterday with more than eight percent what were closing transactions or maybe positions which were rolled but uh, might be interesting um, to see how this goes in the next um, few weeks especially here we saw some long-term investments on options of um, january 20 2022 um, on strike prices what are with five dollar deep in the money but i think what we can also see here short time um, options um, on strike prices of ten dollar and i think this is really realistic after this friday that um, till june we have an outbreak maybe above the ten dollar um, so far it didn't close um, above ten dollars yesterday uh, it also went a little bit back in the last um, trading minutes um, what we can see especially here in the last 15 minutes but let's see how this um, will continue in the next week um beside um, um the symbol at we had also nokia nokia was um, quite interesting yesterday um even it doesn't look in this chart really like a big outbreak this is uh, related to the situation what we had in january with um, reddit where nokia was pushed almost to ten dollars here you can see a little bit clearer what we had in um, april was the end of april here the earnings gap where um, Nokia really changed um, to reach the $5 um, to um, uptrend. And I think yesterday the main issue was um, the analyst from Morgan and Stanley who changed his rating um, from um, to overweight. And um, this also pushed Nokia above the $5. Now um, at the end it um, closed his um, trading day with more than four percent change comparing to what we had on thursday um yeah other than nokia there were a lot of um, stocks which also reported their their earnings um, last week one of these was uh, for example here uber and we can see um, the trend is um, straight going down um earnings were not so well than expected we can see the normal situation and this is in this um, stages uh, before and after the earnings really something um, what uh, happens um, all the time you can see here this were the last earnings and you can even highlight the earnings uh, time without seeing the real date because uh, normally you can um, see it in the um, option volume itself or as we can see it here as well in the implied volatility what always um, increases before the earnings and then later um, um, drops so um, you can see this um, yeah, slide um, quite easily in the option volume and earning uh, and implied volatility as well 
Um, but the most interesting stock from the last week, it's not a stock, it's an ETF actually, was uh, this Brazilian ETF, EWZ. And uh, there yesterday we had really massive um, call volume. You can see it here with more than 400,000 call options. And also from the charting, it's super interesting because it reaches now the price level of $38. And uh, this is exactly um, the last, yeah, when we exclude this one candle, it's the highest price level of the last year. And I think a breakout um, should come next week if there's not a big change in the in the whole market. I think um, yeah, if we can see the last three days, there might be, um, the, the uptrend might continue with a breakout. And this can be really an interesting um, yeah, position for the next few weeks. Um, and um, other than this EWZ, I think there are some um, other ETFs who also um, yeah, participate or correlate with the um, Brazilian index. Yeah, other than um, this, I also want to show you some ETF what was um, had also a quite um, good movement in the last week. Um, it's the commodity gold or here the ETF on the commodity of um, gold with the symbol GLD. And um, here we can also see um, quite good up movement. I think the next um, important level is the $175 um, range, but um, we should not forget beginning of April, G and GLD came, came here from almost $158. And um, since that, the um, trend changed. And now it's interesting to see if this can continue in the next um, days. And um, of course, with the ETF itself, there are many other um, similar ETFs which also participate from this um, development. And one of the most famous here is, I think, GDX, what is um, gold mining ETF, where you saw, um, especially yesterday, also a quite significant um, call volume. Let's have a look on the ETF itself. You can see it here, it's almost the second um, day, but um, I think the movement itself, it's quite similar. You should have a look on the um, other um, facts. Of course, GDX is uh, much cheaper than um, the um, gold ETF, but um, besides these ETFs, um, we also had a few other stocks what um, had quite an interesting move in the last week. One of these was um, Microsoft. After the earnings, uh, Microsoft dropped. Now, um, especially Thursday and Friday, there was a small rebound and it's um, interesting. The option volume is not so high, but I think in the next um, next week we will see if uh, Microsoft can already go back up to $260 where it was already in the last month. Um, after I think the main tech companies and all the big players reported their earnings, there's still some coming. Um, but end of April, beginning of May, I think these two maximum three weeks, um, there's like 60, 70% of the big companies presenting their earnings. Um, so like next weeks should be not so much um, trades or so much option volume, what was only related to earnings. And um, for this reason, I'm quite curious um, how the next week will continue, um, especially as the market, um, if we can have a look here at the S&P 500, is um, still on an all-time high or um, building a new all-time high every week. This week at the beginning, we saw some um, small downtrends, I would say, but um, yesterday it was um, closing at an all-time high in the S&P 500. And um, yeah, with this environment, um, there should be, of course, um, continuing, continue also some of these um, stocks, what we see here in um, their uptrend. So I would be happy to share some more ideas, some more stocks in the next week. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I will be happy um, to hear or to see you again and um, stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.